Greetings, curious minds, and welcome to the Internet Vault, the trove where knowledge is the treasure we seek. Embark on this journey with us as we unravel the intriguing and complex sphere of human psyche. Today we delve into the fascinating world of psychology, dive into the first trick, the Benjamin Franklin Effect. Named after the polymath who discovered it, this technique is based on cognitive dissonance, the mental discomfort we experience when we hold two contradictory beliefs. To resolve this discomfort, we often alter our attitudes. So, when you ask someone to do you a favor, they subconsciously convince themselves they must like you, otherwise, why would they help you? Intriguing, isn't it? Next up is the door in the face technique. This is a persuasive trick where an outrageous request is followed by a more reasonable one. After refusing the initial request, people often feel guilty and are more likely to agree to the second, more reasonable request. Finally, we have the foot in the door technique. This involves making a small request that most people would agree to, then following up with a larger request. The person is more likely to comply with the bigger demand after agreeing to the smaller one. Interesting, right? But wait, there's more. Moving on to the fourth trick, the Pygmalion effect. This psychological phenomenon is all about the power of expectations. When we believe someone will perform well, we tend to treat them in a way that leads them to excel. Imagine you're a manager and you have high hopes for a new employee. Your positive attitude towards them can actually boost their performance. Trick number five, the Hawthorne effect. This is a fascinating concept based on the idea that people change their behavior when they know they are being observed. Think about it, when your boss is watching, you're likely to work harder, right? Finally, let's dive into the sixth trick, the bystander effect. This refers to the unfortunate tendency of people to be less likely to help someone in need when other people are present. It's a strange and sobering reality of human psychology, and the intrigue continues. Now let's explore the seventh trick, the halo effect. This is a cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person influences how we feel and think about their character. Essentially, your brain is saying, hey, this person seems great, so they must be great at everything. It's often used in marketing and personal branding. Imagine how much more persuasive a well-dressed speaker can be. Moving on to the eighth trick, the false consensus effect. This psychological phenomenon happens when we overestimate how much other people agree with us. We tend to believe our opinions, beliefs, preferences, values, and habits are normal, and that others also think the same way that we do. This is a powerful tool in negotiation and persuasion, making others believe that your way of thinking is the common consensus. Next up, the ninth trick, is the Dunning-Kruger effect. This is when people with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. It's characterized by the paradox of the less knowledgeable we are, the more confident we're likely to be. This can be leveraged in situations where you want to project confidence and expertise. Finally, the tenth trick, the placebo effect. This is when believing that something will have a certain effect on you causes it to have that effect. For instance, if you believe a pill will make you better, it just might, even if it's just sugar. This trick is widely used in medicine and psychological therapies. And there you have it, 10 psychological tricks that always work. So, we've traveled through some intriguing psychological landscapes today. We've dived into the depths of 10 potent tricks that your mind can play or be played by. From the power of priming to the secrets of body language, We've seen how psychology is not just a field of study, but a tool we can harness to navigate our daily lives more effectively. These are just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world of psychological wonders waiting for you to discover. So whether you're a seasoned psychology enthusiast or just starting out, I encourage you to keep exploring, to keep questioning. Thanks for joining this journey into the internet vault. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. Until next time, keep exploring.